Okay, okay, that's better. Right. Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Fringe Reaction. This is Season 2, Episode 6, uh, and it's called Earthling. Right, we've been th we've been through the uh, all, all the main points in various episodes before, so no need to repeat myself there. I don't think I've got anything extra to add. Last week's episode was... It seemed like a standalone. I could be wrong. There were there were hints at the larger thing, a Peter's past, which I think is going to start coming to the forefront very soon. But apart from that, I've got nothing else to add. So, Earthling, what could this refer to? I'm hoping it's going to be something about the Watcher, because. I mean, we're all Earthlings. Even the people from the other side in this show are Earthlings, just a different Earth. Mm. I wonder what this is all gonna all gonna mean. Right. Without further ado, let's get on with it because you've waited long enough. I think. One, two, three, go. Okay. Have a safe trip. Call me when you land. Oh yeah, well. Happy anniversary. What's he got planned? What's with the TV? Ooh. The shadow monster. Oh, is he at home? Already? Ah, oh, but he's dead. Randy, you totally got me. <laughs> I had no idea. Randy? He's not even blinking. Oh! No! No! Huh? It just turned to dust. How did he hold that form for so long then? What what was that? An experiment from the other side? This doesn't make any sense. Well, there's no forced entry. No signs of a struggle. Walter, do you have any thoughts? It reminds me of Christmas. What? That like a fire lock that burns so hot it remains intact, holding the shape of its former self. Oh, okay. But before we can determine cause, we need to find some way to transport Mr. Danzig's remains back to my lab. No. So, a small paper um, bag would be enough, well, wouldn't Peter, it? I, I'll need a dust devil. A vacuum cleaner? No, okay, yeah, a vacuum cleaner would do. we will need several. Has he visited a hospital in the last 24 hours? Oh, he knows something. I can find out. It's not the first time I've seen this phenomenon. No, this is... I, I would have guessed that. Four years ago in D.C., several victims were turned to dust like Mr. Dancy. By the time the killings ended, there were five deaths. Each of the victims worked at or had recently visited Tyson General down in D.C. After the third death, I was contacted by an Eastern European man. He knew case-specific details. Details that only the killer would have known. Right. He offered to turn himself in. But only if we could decipher his formula. What formula? Some kind of complex organic compound. I recognize a couple of these elements, but the others I'm not so sure. What is it? Don't know. But he implied that solving it was the key to stopping the murders. It's not a shadow, is it? It's almost like it's not quite in our dimension. They all carry low amounts of radiation. The water we drink, the food we eat. Seven rats or so. But that equation describes something organic and highly radioactive. If it has anything to do with the man's death, then this man will be in the mid to low hundreds. Nothing. Mm. This doesn't make any sense. And qu quite the opposite. All the radiation's been re taken from him. Titanium tetrachloride. You sly tempters. What? Walter? So what's so special about texture of whatever hydrochloride? 
Oh. So it affects TVs and computers and electrical things. Oh, oh! Thomas Kozlov. He worked at the hospital in D.C. and quit the week the murder stopped. How long till he started working here? About a month later. He's a night nurse in a coma unit. He never showed up for a shift tonight. Uh, I, I bet he's nothing to do with it. That's because that's too easy. That was too quick. I don't know how many more will die. Isn't that up to you? You have the power over what happens next. No, I don't. You don't understand. This won't stop until you can solve that formula. You can explain what it is we're not listening. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I don't think this guy's got anything to do with it. And since I'm usually wrong, that means he probably has. Your suspect is at the center of an ongoing international investigation led by the Russian government. By that definition alone... Why are they searching for him? CIA? The Russians? Yeah. What does he illegally remove some property belonging to the Russian Federation? Property? A weapon? Is that what's killing these people? I don't know. Within the last hour, this case has been kicked three floors above both our heads. <laughs> I'm a member of the Senate Intelligence Committee, a former FBI agent. I'm not CIA. There was a time, Dennis, that you would say that as a matter of pride, not an excuse. Excuse me. Hey. Where are you? Uh, I'm at Latchmere Hospital, just going over security footage from last night. I've just been informed that the suspect known to us as Tomas Kozlov is wanted by the CIA and the Russian government. The CIA is now handling the case. And they just expect you to hand it over? Yes. But I intend to do no such thing. <laughs> yes, this is a different angle, same hallway. We should see him head on here. The light here would register an image. Oh. There is no face. Dunham. What is it? I think you're going to want to see this. Yeah, we got a shadow monster. Or oh, it's bending light around it. More or less. Right. He was an astronaut. A cosmonaut, sorry. Are you saying the cosmonaut's the shadow? I don't know. But what is clear is Timor took his brother from the secret quarantine facility where he was being studied. Took? He returned from his mission in a coma. And Timor has been working in the coma ward both here and in D.C. I think Timor has been moving his brother around from hospital to hospital guarding him. So where's his brother now? It's the radiation that the entity is after. Yeah, this okay then, yeah. Passes through victims. Worked that one out earlier. Behind you. Oh. Thomas. What are you doing here? It's not your shift. I can't let them see me take him. Maxine, I wish he hadn't seen me here. Oh, that's the, the hydrochloride, is it? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Dr. Furry's brother. She's been sedated. Oh, that's not too bad. He didn't kill her. So he's not a bad person. He's just trying to protect his brother for some reason. His brother must be the cosmic. As unlikely as it seems, is it possible that this cosmonaut somehow is our killer? It wasn't the cosmonaut, but, but it could be something inside him. It's possible that while in our space, the cosmonaut took the spacewalk and brought something back with him. An organism capable of projecting itself without ever really leaving its host. The two have become one, bonded at a molecular level. They can't be separate. Agent, I'm going to hang up now. We have the answer to move. But I don't think it's the one you want to hear. But the people I work with, if anyone can help your brother, they can. But we'll need to see your brother. He's not going to hurt anyone else. For now. You'll take care of me. I want this to end as much as you do. But you've got to tell me where you are, Timor. Yes. Timor. Timor. He 
killed him. And the moment he took that call, he's, he was dead. She's become the host. There was a man, a shadow man. He disappeared. Oh God, a little child is the host of the shadow monster. <laughs> so, this thing, there isn't going to be any report, right? No. Oh, that wasn't a question, that was a a statement. Hey. <laughs> what did that have to do with oh yeah, earthlings. Yeah, okay then. I get it, I get it now. Yeah, it just took me a second. That was a good episode. And it does set up a lot of I mean it, it felt like a standalone episode from for the majority of the episode, but then you have that little bit at the end. That the cosmonaut um, remains the host. So, and they've sent him up into space. So it's only a matter of time before that thing finds its way back back to Earth. I mean, it's got a taste now. I don't know what it's got a taste of. But, yeah, apart from that, it was the classic sort of make somebody out to be the murderer but in fact he's the good guy trying to protect everyone from the actual thing fairly standard fare really um i do like these fringe episodes i like that they, they really kind of explore explore possibilities the writers in this show um lots of different things but i'm kind of I'm kind of waiting and I know, I know it's not going to happen because um, well I, know, I just know it's not going to happen or at least it, if it was it was not it's not going to happen for a long time but I'm kind of hoping for a big a big fringe um, problem something immense stupid powerful something that they just can't defeat something they're going to have to learn to live with something like like something out of the scp universe or something something of that sort of either strangeness like there's one scp that's an ikea store that's got folding dimensions inside of itself or something immensely powerful um, but right now every, every, everything seems to be containable so far problematic but ultimately containable defeatable there, there's got to come a time when they're going to face the opposite they're going to face the uncontainable the undefeatable It's like they keep saying throughout, uh, prepare for the war, you know, you've got to be ready. Um, we still don't know all about the, the greys and the blacks. And how many were indoctrinated into that, whatever you want to call it, that army. We've met a few, but to be an army, it's got to be thousands strong tens of thousands strong so what what is that going to be building up for because the war's already started we know the war's already started it's skirmishing at the moment there's there's been no real major battles but um it's certainly it's certainly underway but we've got force odd seasons to explore that and fringe has now become my primary show i've now finished leftovers 
So I can concentrate on Fringe as the main reaction show on this channel exclusively, or almost exclusively. I've got about other projects, but this is the number one A um, primary concern for this channel now, is finishing Fringe. So I'm hoping that you won't see as big a gaps between episodes as you have done in the last few months. Yeah, that is what it is. Uh, good, ep good. Thank there. But this is thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Until then, keep well. See you later.